What's cracking, people? It's Tim from Over the Years. As promised, we have our first full length video. We're back from Pennsylvania. We did a little hunting up there. Uh, I got everything lined up here for you. You will notice a few pieces that are missing. The GE space heater is not uh, out here right now. Still got to clean that up a little bit. The red hall monotone Chinese red teapot has already sold. I have a friend, a uh, loyal customer, whenever she sees a hall teapot that she likes, she usually grabs it. So shout out to her for grabbing that piece already. Um, as you can see, I got my over the years t-shirt on. Shout out to PJ for uh, this logo that you see everywhere now. Uh, you'll see his Instagram handle down at the bottom of this video. Also, what else is new? We got uh, the Wedgwood Bowl is not here either. We're still soaking that, cleaning that up a little bit. Um, anything else missing? Seven up crates in the garage. Just stacked up a whole bunch of new soda crates because we just sold a lot. As you can see, I got some other crates up here I just picked up. Uh, cool place to store records. Really nice. Uh, so let's get down into what we picked up in Pennsylvania. So first up, we will start with the Pyrex. So I saw this piece of Pyrex with this piece right here and I couldn't resist. It's just an awesome pattern. Um, the only problem is, is it does have a little chip there, but it's a great piece for somebody who's looking for a promotional piece of Pyrex, uh, start their collection. It still displays really nice as you can see. Uh, so we got that one right there. And then we got the butterfly gold Pyrex casserole dish with the nice lid to go as well. And that is in an absolutely great condition right now. Uh, the rest of the Pyrex, we got the Pyrex Butterprint Refrigerator Dishes. Uh, this is actually one of the more popular patterns right now. Uh, everybody loves the butter print. Anything turquoise, turquoise and pink is always going to be hot. But the cool thing about Pyrex is, is that everybody kind of has their own pattern that they're into. And I think that that's awesome because, you know, one person might really love this pattern, the butter print. And then the butterfly gold is also a pattern that people really love. I sell tons and tons and tons of butterfly gold. I really enjoy that pattern also. Uh, it's, it's a good color scheme, the butterfly gold. It can be a fall color, it can be a summer color. Um, and then we got the medium size Pyrex butter print refrigerator dish. Both of these have their lids, no chips on the lids, which is great. Uh, a lot of times you get the lids and the corners can be chipped. Uh, it just happens, uh, so that's that. And now let's move on to Flow Blue. Uh, Flow Blue, I absolutely love. My mom, who's filming behind the camera, it's a big Flow Flow Blue gal. She's got a ton upstairs in her china cabinet. The good thing about Flow Blue is that it never really loses its uh, value. It, it's really consistent. Um, this stuff is super old, made most of the early Flow Blue is made in the 1800s into the early 1900s. And you can see they call it Flow Blue for those of you who don't know, because when they're making it, the blue kind of bleeds into the white, hence the saying Flow Blue. Uh, this bowl right here is about circa 1898. Henry Alcock uh, Terrain is the name of the pattern. And this is a nice 10 inch bowl. Obviously with the Flow Blue, the bigger the stuff is, the more valuable it is, the harder to find uh, pieces as well. Uh, moving on to the next piece of Flow Blue. This one right here is a really dark Flow Blue as you can see. Look at the bleeding on the back of that one. So this one is called Chapu. And this is made by John Wedgwood uh, of the Wedgwood family. And this one dates to about 1850s. Um, you can see it just, it's a solid piece of china. For something to last that long and still have no chips, no cracks is pretty amazing. Uh, this is the other piece of Flow Blue that we got. And this one right here is about Circa 1891, Burgess and Lee 
Uh, Non-parallel is the name of the pattern. You can see, and the flow blue marks are always gonna be a little difficult to read just because of the age and the bleeding of the, the blue. But um, with a bunch of, I have a bunch of flow blue books that I rely on heavily just to kind of be accurate. Um, so that's the flow blue that we brought. We had another flow blue plate. Um, I didn't notice this at the time when I got it, but it actually had a chip and had been repaired. Uh, so there's like this blue stuff on it and the chip, once I really got into it, the chip was too much for me to actually try and um, sell it on Etsy. So what I do is, is usually anytime I find china or glass that I have that is broken or chipped beyond like a reasonable, you know, look for me to sell. I have a girlfriend of mine who I give it all to and she creates these absolutely amazing pieces. You'll be able to see her Instagram handle and Etsy store name at the bottom of this video as well. So moving on from the flow blue, we are gonna go on to this piece of carnival glass. So carnival glass is actually, I think, gaining a little bit of steam right now. Um, I have sold a lot of the carnival glass as of late. I don't particularly like the marigold colors as much as the other colors, but I couldn't resist this pattern. This is uh, by Fenton Glass Company, and you can see it is the panther pattern with the two panthers right there. I just uh, thought that that was super cool and I couldn't resist that piece. So this, along with everything else, will be up in the Etsy store within the next couple of days. This is just kind of an opportunity for me to give you guys a preview of things before they're actually listed so you can be the first ones to get it if it's something you'd like. If it's something you really, 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 really like, just shoot me a message um, and we can figure something out. I'll let you know like the second I post it and you can go ahead and just grab it immediately. So we also stopped by a thrift store as you saw in the first video when one of the towns not too far from the flea market that we went to and we picked up these teapots i absolutely love the pink and gold on this teapot uh, this is a gibson teapot so you'll see in our etsy store we actually have almost about 100 teapots right now they they are always selling people love teapots um, this one does have a little bit of wear on the gold trim but not too bad uh, be great for a nice tea party, somebody who's just beginning to collect. You know, it, it's one of those teapots you could actually probably use just because it's not too expensive and it does already have a little bit of wear. Uh, the next teapot we have, this is a brown and gold Gibson teapot. Um, absolutely love it. The brown actually kind of has almost like a, a leopard type print going on there. Uh, this is an absolutely fabulous condition. Uh, this is more of an individual teapot. I love that. And they actually look really nice together, the brown, the pink, and the gold. So those are the teapots we'll be adding to our teapot section. So moving on to Vaseline, uranium, glass, also just happens to be jadeite as well. These are Victorian shakers. Um, they are referred to as the flower band. As you can see, there's a band of flowers along the bulbous part of the shaker. Uh, so those are jadeite, but they are also uranium vaseline. So you'll see they'll glow real nice underneath the UV light. So as far as the maker goes on these, they are loosely attributed to a company from Lancaster, Ohio. Most people want to kind of say they're Lancaster glass, but these were made actually well before Lancaster glass. Um, so I, upon my research, found that they are actually made by National Glass Company, um, also known as the Ohio Flint Works Glass Company. Now, Jadeite, jadeite, jadeite. Everybody loves jadeite. Whether it's really old jadeite by like McKee, Jeanette, or newer jadeite, not necessarily newer, but you know, a little bit later in time after Jeanette McKee is the original Fire King jadeite collection. So this juice streamer is actually made by Jeanette Glass. 
This will also glow under UV light, as you can see, and it is in absolutely amazing condition. No chips, no dings anywhere. Gorgeous piece of jadeite to add to your jadeite collection or to start your jadeite collection. So, from there we will go move these Pyrex dishes really quick. And we will talk about some of these smaller pieces here. These I absolutely love. Um, made in Germany. They're ashtrays. They're actually blue, green, and a nice burnt orange, which is a really popular color right now. Uh, there's, you know, they're, it's tough to decide. They're mid-century. They're art deco. They're a little bit of both um, stylistically. But they also nest... And you can nest them in any different direction. Really cool piece to add to your house bar, outdoor patio, anything like that. Somebody who collects anything, tobacco, ashtrays, would love those. Great decorative piece, but also very uh, functional. And along with the same theme, we just got this nice little Ronson standard lighter. Nothing too crazy, but just classic really good look uh good name so moving on to our bottles so if you look at our etsy store you'll see that we have tons of bottles right now bottles are just an amazing decor item for your windows once the light comes in on the bottles you'll just see them clearly. They're just great decor items. But at the same time, they're also collectible. You know, so a lot of people love them. You know, you can look at the history of what the bottles are actually from and made for. Uh, this one right here is really interesting. Bumstead's Worm Syrup. One bottle has killed a hundred worms. Children's Children cry for more. Just try it. So this is a really interesting shape too. You'll notice that a lot of the old bottles come in all these different shapes. Uh, so the most popular that I've noticed since I've gotten more deep into the bottle game <laughs> is people love poison bottles. So they are, you know, fetching the most coin right now. They're the most popular, high, high in demand. So I actually found this poison bottle before, but it did not have the label still on it. Um, and that sold in about a week. This one is super cool because it still has the label on it. And you'll see the poison is also embossed on the bottle right there. Uh, these are a little bit different uh, poison bottles. This one right here is a tincture iodine poison bottle also still with the label uh, a lot of the people that l collect the poison bottles they look for the skull and crossbones either on the label or embossed in the bottle so you'll see that on both of these on the labels and then this one on the label as well this one is paris green poison and i kind of really like the shape of this bottle also it's just a really interesting shape uh, so those are the bottles that we picked up in Pennsylvania. Uh, if you're interested in bottles, we do have a lot of bottles listed currently in our Etsy shop. So now we went a little crazy on the tins. Um, I just kind of, I've, I've been into tins since we've opened the Etsy store, but they've always been particular along the lines of tea tins, cookie tins, things of that nature. Um, these tins are all different types of tins. All different types of tins. So we have, we'll start off with the big boys first. These are Lancaster Nuts tins so we have this once again a burnt orange color which is uh the in color right now these are really functional as well uh, either you collect you can collect it or actually use it you know once again great for artists put your paint brushes in pens pencils things like that um tins are really functional and great decor items so we have the burnt orange one, Lancaster Nuts, and we have the green Lancaster Salted Nuts tin. 
Uh, this one's a little bit more shallow, uh, but still great. The store stuff in. I mean, you can really store anything in there. Tools, screws, nuts, bolts, anything you really like. Sewing, as my mom is whispering and you can hear her. Great to store sewing stuff in there as well. So let's move on to some of the smaller tins. So we'll go into uh, the tobacco tins that we got. So this is Edgeworth Extra High Grade Ready Rub. Uh, this has got uh, some nice age to it, as you can tell by some of the rust and patina. I've been trying to figure out if I should or I'm going to try and like clean up some of these older tins that have rust on them. Uh, I know some people do like it with the age showing in the rust, but I feel like sometimes uh, if there's some like rust dirt that can be cleaned, I'm, I'm tempted to try and clean those. But uh, if anybody has any ideas or thoughts on that, please leave a comment and let us know. Uh, so this is a really cool tin. I, I, I like the blue color. And once again, these tins are, can be used. They can be decor items displayed. It's really up to you to the collector themselves. Um, this is, I believe, English tobacco tin. So it is St. Bruno Flake by Ogden's. Uh, this is a really cool, it's in pretty good condition considering the age, obviously. This one's really good also for storing. Um, if you wanna store your adult things in there, your adult cigarettes in there, that'll work too. Uh, cool case. Really nice, uh, great for the collector or for regular stuff. This is a larger cigarette tin case, uh, Chesterfield cigarettes. This is a really cool one. I just like the size of this one. Uh, it's a nice square, so you can kind of store a, a little bit of different things in there. It's kind of thin, but uh, once again, great for display, great for uh, storage. Uh, so those are the tobacco ones. Now, these are a little bit different, um, smaller, unique, not necessarily tobacco tins. This one is a vintage Maidol tin. Very small, but a real nice sleek look there. Uh, that one's pretty cool. We also got this duo of Helps. They were like um, menthol, liquor, licorice, elliptical, eucalyptical? Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus? But it says eucalyptical. <laughs> yeah, but it they, does say eucalyptical. Yeah, I see? So uh, these were like little pellets to kind of help with throat irritation. Um, these are really cool too. Look in the inside, it's got a little bit of writing going on there too. And these will be listed in the Etsy store together as two. You can see this one already still has like little things stored in it, like little screws. So definitely could be used for a lot of different things, which is pretty cool. This one, I love the look on this. This is a laxative pill case. And you can see it opens up. Once again, really good for a little storage. Um, it's really funny because on the back, it has these really interesting instructions. <laughs> and it says for a child, it tells them to eat like candy or crush to a powder. Children love the pleasant taste. Lies. No children loves the taste of laxatives. <laughs> um, so this is also a, a nifty little tin. This one is super rusted, so I haven't really been able to get it open. But I just... It's nostalgia. I, I think it's really cool. Um, once again, this is a little uh, tablet pen. A.H. Lewis Medicine Company from St. Louis called Nature's Remedy. That's a cool little tin. These little ones are just are super fascinating to me. Um, this is Raleigh's Ointment. Uh, so I guess you would... Soothing and antiseptic, so almost like an old school uh, fix vapor rub. The thing that's really cool about this is that this is a sample. So uh, it's, you know, you, you might see these tins that are the regular size ones. These are samples. Same with this one right here, Tomolo. Complimentary sample, as you can see on there. This is a really cool design, super interesting. 
Um, this one is, all right, I'm going to try not to butcher this right here, but this is Stero Cubes, which are chicken bouillon. Bouillon. Bu bouillon. Bouillon. <laughs> bouillon. <laughs> chicken bouillon. Yeah. Uh, so this will be kind of cool if you're a chef, you work in a kitchen, nice little decor. Uh, I just think it would be a really cool gift for somebody who's like always in the kitchen cooking. Uh, once again, it is a tin, so you can store whatever you really want to in there. Um, actually, it might be kind of cool for like a lipstick carrier, you know, just to be a little bit different. Uh, maybe I'm on my own on that one, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Got another uh, Raleigh. Uh, container here. This uh, one is also what they kept pills in. Uh, this is useful for torpid liver, sluggish bowels, and constipation. Sick headache and gas when due to constipation. So if you, you know, ate some food and you, you had a little gassy, you got diitis, this will help you. But this tin is in great shape. Uh, love the color scheme on that. Uh, once again, got it inside. Very functional if you wanted to keep anything in there. This one right here is also a very different tin. This is typewriter ribbon. Ditto. Um, typewriter ribbon tins are actually pretty collectible as well. Uh, this one is super cool. Just uh, you really got this very old font lettering just super cool stuff i really like that one a lot uh in good condition as well but the best tin that we got is this one right here old master this is for crowns i know people are asking themselves what i mean when i say crowns i just I, crowns. people <laughs> i call them crowns i have my whole life there will always be crowns. Crayons. But this is a really nice tin. This one is super collectible uh, in absolutely great condition. Uh, so this was probably the best tin as far as value-wise that we picked up. But like I said, they're all cool. They all have their own sort of look, vibe, functionality for the collector, for the designer, anything that you really want to do with it, which is why I think tins are so cool. So that is everything except for a few missing pieces, obviously that I talked about earlier from our haul in Pennsylvania. So we have another video coming up with another haul from some yard sailing and picking and digging and hunting that I did in the last couple of days. That'll be coming out soon. So I hope you enjoyed the first full length video from over the years. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, share, tell all your friends. Uh, hopefully we'll be giving you videos on a daily, bi-daily basis. So it should be lots of fun. We should be at Georgetown Flea Market coming up this Sunday. You can also find all of our Instagram, Etsy store, Facebook links all at the bottom of this video. Thank you very much, and until next time. Sit Jay on the board.